the Fox 29 studios. This is Good Day Philadelphia. Uh, Lauren is in South Philly for a dance project of her own. Oh, yeah. So listen, guys, these students are getting ready for a big performance here at Furness. They're presenting Take the Lead Dance. We're going to get a preview of their performance coming up after the break. A local nonprofit is enriching the lives of some Philadelphia high school students in a, a somewhat unique way. Instead of reading and writing and stuff like that, they're using their feet. So Lauren Johnson standing by at Furness High School in South Philadelphia, learning more about Take the Lead Dance Project. She's dancing too. Oh yeah, it is a party in the gymnasium here at Furness High School. So yeah, Take the Lead is behind this dance party happening in the gym right now. Let's talk to Jackie Fisher. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm Thanks good. For being here. I love this. Tell me why a program like this is so important in Philadelphia schools. So Take the Lead Dance Projects helps fill the gaps uh, left by the loss of the regular arts curriculum in our schools. Uh, we are considered arts um, enrichment, and we are social and physical development, also arts education uh, program using social dance as our medium. And these high school students learn essential life skills through ballroom dance. Some of them walk up to a complete stranger and have to learn to talk and communicate and then dance. Yeah, absolutely. It's um, it's a little frightening for them at first, but they get over it quickly. I mean, let's be real. They are teenagers. They want to socialize, and this teaches them a safe way to uh, learn safe space, safe touching, um, and also um, socializing and interact with one another. You taught this class here, what, three school years ago. Yeah. What did you see happen transform over that 10-week period with some of the students? Oh, well, the students transformed so much. They come out of their shell. Um, like I said in the beginning, the, the nerves about, you know, getting in front of somebody and face-to-face. And, -to -face. Um, and then they just forget about that, and they have fun learning this dance, this sport. An applicable skill. And, and music and dance sort of is a universal language, so it's something that kind of connects us and bonds us, and they can form friendships sometimes in a class like this. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have many students who testify to that. You know, I made a friend, uh, or I've been in high school for four years. This is my senior year, and I, I never talked to so-and-so, and this class helped me do that. And this is a bold thing, because when you're performing in front of your peers in high school, that's a critical crowd. It's, it's very, yes. It's it's um, very nerve-wracking for them, but again, something that they can be proud of. At the end of this uh, performance, they all receive a certificate of completion. They have a party, and I mean, they're elated. They're, oh, miss, I'm so happy that I got a chance to do this and perform. So the big show is at 9.45 this morning, yeah. and then you said you guys invite the audience members up, to to give them a chance to be yeah. a part of it. I mean, our goal is to really inspire confidence, community, and joy, and so the culminating event is a chance to do that with the whole school. Well, their peers, staff, and also parents and family members, friends from home to come and watch. It's, a, it's an actual event. It's an assembly and a performance. So yes, we invite them up for a line dance at the end to get the whole crowd moving because they're sitting there in the audience tapping their feet wanting to move with us. I know. It makes you want to move. And I'm like, oh, this is it's so fun and priceless to be able to learn these kind of skills for free. Yes, definitely. Yeah, Having this in school is, oh, in my opinion, is essential. Um, and we are so grateful to the principal principals who recognize that and bring us into their schools year after year. Now, this is our second year running Take the Lead Dance Project, and we went from two schools to nine. Next year, we're expanding, hopefully. Um, we're grateful for the support of our um, uh, our network of donors and local foundations and local uh, corporate sponsors who help us get this program up and running. Well, thanks for inviting us to the preview party. Mike, I know you have two left feet. Alex can dance circles around you. Karen, what are you? I've never seen you dance. Oh, she can dance. You got the moves? Oh. Karen's a great dancer, as a matter of fact. She did a dance-off oh. once oh, in the yeah. studio, and it was amazing. Yeah. I and wish she could What does she do? Lift her head? She can over put her, head or her foot over her head. She's like a human pretzel. Mm. I'm very bendy. That is one of my... You've worn that way. shape me any way you want me. Uh, I wish I had had that dance stuff in high school. Helping kids through the power of dance. It's happening right now in Philadelphia public schools thanks to one organization. Our Lauren Johnson has more from South Philadelphia. How about ditch the books and have a dance party in the gymnasium? That's what's happening here at Furness. 
High School. The Take the Lead dance program is in full effect. Jackie Fisher joins us to talk more about what is going on here. So Take the Lead dance project is an in-school arts education, uh, social and physical development program for high school students in Philadelphia. This today is a culmination of a 10-week program, 20 dance classes. The students learn social dances like merengue and bachata and foxtrot, salsa. They also get a chance to learn some line dancing as well. And when schools are cutting programs because of funding to the arts and the creativity of students, how helpful and important is this? Very helpful. I mean, we do help fill um, the, the loss felt when the regular arts curriculum is cut. Um, luckily, we have a mayor and um, that really believes in the arts, and our school district is working better to get arts back into our schools, and Take the Lead Dance Project is so on board with uh, those initiatives and helping spread that. Here's the good news, Jackie. You guys started two years ago. You've grown so much over that time. How many schools are you in now? We're in nine, so we started, we piloted the program two years ago in two schools, and now we're in nine schools next year, hoping to expand to 12 and, and every year after that. Your wish for these students once they walk out of the gymnasium and the program ends is what? More confidence, more sense of community, and joy. Perfect. Joy, dance and music will make you joyful for sure. Thank you for inviting us to the dance party. Thank you so much for coming. And congratulations for expanding, and we'll toss it back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Lauren.